What's up, everyone? I think everything's going to be fine with me and Linda because smoothie bitch. Because I just found out by accident because the website portal was down uh, that she's like some kind of like sweetly fancy manager person lady who gets awards. So good for her. Um, I also found out that I thought, I thought so for like the past week. She's been like purposefully like leaving some of the stuff out of the food I've been ordering to see if I would know. Why the fuck would I notice anything that you put, whatever you put in the bowl, I'm just going to eat without question. Look, I'll, I'll just go into this one more. Like back when PK, uh, the Thai lady who helped me out uh, and gave me a job just before I left Charlottesville. She set me up for this Cambodian girl, and I remember I was talking about this one because I mentioned how I mentioned how I was gonna. Um, PK wanted me to marry Judy, the the Cambodian bitch, and I was all for it because we were fooling around, dude. I took this bitch out, and she ordered whiskey with water. She was like whiskey with a little bit of water, so she ordered. She was like, I'm gonna. She was like, I have to work tomorrow, so I'll just put a little bit of water in my whiskey. I was like, damn, dude, dude. Like, she was like, they watch everything I do when I go inside, so you have to fuck me in the car. I was like, awesome. I have a jeep. <laughs> Anyways, so she for a little bit, she moved into my house. I made her move back into PK. To be, look, this is when I had a, I don't care, like, unless like your husband died, you know, in the line of duty as a cop or a firefighter or, you know, some bullshit like that, or like, you know, as a soldier, I'm probably not going to look at you twice if you're a single mom. This is why. Um, so she had two other kids in Cambodia. And I was like, well, you know, if we settle down together, obviously I still want to have kids, but we have to start thinking about bringing your other kids over, right? And I don't know why she said this, because she could have just said yes and all that bullshit. And she said, no, don't worry about them. Those are the kids I had in Cambodia. I am came to America to have new kids. And I was like, go back to PK's. And I told PK, I was like, PK, this bitch is shisey as fuck. And PK was like, oh, Joe, you don't understand. You don't understand Cambodia. And I was like, I just, I, let's just keep it at Thailand for right now, all right? <sighs> Anyways, that bitch. You see, I remember one time I was arguing at the dawning well, where we all went to go stomp dancing. And I brought Judy. And she was drinking with the other, no, her and Pai, the Korea, half Korean, half black bitch, were like having like a who's the bigger hoe off. I'm telling you, they were like competing over like which one like Estam ID better. Uh, it was Jess. That's why she's Honey Lips. I mean, that's why she calls me Honey Lips. And, uh, honey Lips is not about kissing. Anyway. Anyways. So, we're having this conversation, me and like Spider and Baron and Jason, whoever the fuck, the, the crew, right? We're like hanging out and like talking. And they're like, how's things going with Judy? I'm like, man, that bitch is a handful. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like, ever since she moved in. She just bitches about how I don't clean enough and it's dirty and all that bullshit. And if I basically, like, she literally just did this until I just brought home a bunch of trash bags and threw everything away that she thought was trash, even though it wasn't. It had a place. But, uh, so I was like, guys, she'll, like, make me eggs, but, like, make them super salty. She'll, like, make me, like, rice and chicken and make it, like, super salty. 
she just makes everything extra salty on purpose. I know she's doing it on purpose. And every time we have sex, as soon as I'm about to fall asleep, she will start nagging me and nagging me to cut my hair and mow the grass and throw out the garbage, blah, blah, blah. You need to just pay for a garbage subscription. We can't have the trash pack up all in the backyard. And then every few months, you just rent a trailer and, th and, dr and drive it to the landfill. You can't do that. You have to blah, blah, blah. And just off and on. And then I was like telling him, dude, this one time this bitch made a uh, pad thai or whatever, some, some stir fry bullshit like that. And she put a fried egg on top. And I saw that bitch just like not even like measure the salt. She took like the salt, you know, with like the lady with the umbrella on it and like opened it and just poured salt on it. I saw her do that. And then she mixed it all in and I ate it anyways. And I sat there and I looked right at her. And I just ate the whole, and the whole time she's just like, because like it didn't work, right? Uh, whatever, she was trying to be annoying and cunty. And everyone was just like, dog, you're having an obvious fight with your girlfriend and she's still cooking for you and you're still fucking her daily. I'm like, of course, why else would she be there? Right? Anyways, so yeah, like, I'm just going to give you money because I don't want to do the dishes is what it, I meant. I, that's what I was trying to go to. Like everything's fine with Sweet Leaf. Just like, I just, you don't understand. If I don't give you money, I have to do my own dishes and it's a pain in the ass. All right. So Tiffany bullshit. So I'm at a disadvantage with Tiffany because she doesn't talk about anything personal ever. Ever since I met her, I was trying to get her to open up to me and she never does. All she does is go, he, he, well, he. Even if you look at all of her, like, fan meets and all the things, whenever she talks to people, she uses generic shit. Like, oh, we're all creators, and we're all do well, and we'll all reach our goals, and we'll all hit our dreams. The fuck does that mean? The fuck does that even mean? Right? Anyways. Tiffany's biggest weakness is her inability to be specific. That would mean taking responsibility and accountability for something. Anyways. I'm pretty sure Tiffany has been watching me since 2017. One of the first videos I ever made, maybe even the first video I ever made, I might still have it. I have to look around for it. <coughs> I, see, if you didn't see my first video, you don't know what I'm doing. My first video ever, what we're doing now, just talking and just like doing whatever, this was rehab. When I was 16 years old, they threw me out of school and tried try to charge me as an adult for shit I won't go into right now. And my probation officer and Coach Jones talked them into like just having me go to rehab and they sent me to this like rehab place with like 50 year old ladies who were chain smoking, popping all kinds of pills and had flasks telling me that like, I'm not going to amount to anything. And I'm like the devil because I smoked some weed. It was stupid. And they made you like share and all that bullshit. They eventually kicked me out. I won't go into that one for allegedly found a way to smuggle in and grow a weed plant in the rehab. Anyways, so they made us like share all this bullshit. So I honestly think that more people should do not the sharing, but like have to go through a rehab bullshit because uh, it's just like you have nothing to lose anymore. It's more like, if anything, you should look at these as like a form of... Um, Alanon or Alatine or whatever the fuck, because that's basically what it was. And they would make us like sit there and talk to everyone. And like, oh, I think your problem is this, and I think your problem is that. Have you thought about writing more and all that bullshit? And I just use it as a way to like, you know, get more prestige amongst my peers for being a you know total douchebag to everyone. And then we had that fucking asshole priest. Catholic priest guy or whatever the fuck priest it was had that thingy 
about how like she was like if you could had all the power in the world what would, what would you do and I was like Jessica Alba and he was like you'd be more powerful than that what if Jessica Alba chose you out of her own free will I was like fuck and that was like a moment in my life where like I realized the importance of freedom so Tiffany I abridged it Tiffany heard that story of mine and was like huh I'm pretty so if I constantly pick him then I'll he'll I'll be like his dream come true okay I figured that one out pretty pretty early on. Why? I don't know. That's why I've been trying to get her to open up to me. All right? Because she has a story like that. And until I know what that is, I don't know anything about why she's doing any of the crazy shit she's doing. All I know is that she wants something from me. And I'm assuming it's more than just my babies because she's been doing this shit for years. Okay? And the most annoying part is she claims A, B, C, D, and then runs away and hangs out with losers and all that bullshit, which I'm not getting into right now, all right? But all the bullshit is going on because you know what makes me tick, but I don't know what makes you tick. Because if I was going to go based on what you showed me so far, what makes you tick is other people's monies and clout, which makes you want nothing to do with you. Honestly, nothing to do with you. So if you don't find some way soon to open up, I will just start. I mean, I'm already fucking other bitches, but like, I'm not going to New York. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up, go to the bank, pull out a bunch of money and put it into Theta because you don't give a fuck what I do or you would have done anything else by now. So the moral of that story is people just need to have more life experiences when they're younger so they don't end up becoming 35 year old whatever the fuck Tiffany is I cannot believe she's been taking she's been not giving me the sauce there's two sauces I should be getting she's been giving me just one sauce I think she's been giving me like a scoop less rice and just some other bullshit it's just like why would I notice if you you don't understand I open it and then I just eat it. I don't even, if you didn't put the sauce to the side, I wouldn't even notice that it came with the sauce. I would just eat it like that. I only know because the Spanish lady made it for me today. Bless her soul. And she gave me both sauces. I should have known this when you didn't give me the pickle, when I specifically asked for the pickle. Anyways. Could be worse. It could be a K-pop model. Anyways, I'm going to finish up things and then I'm going to study and keep making money. And I'm sure she'll do something, but I'm not going anywhere because you are cunty. And you're probably never going to get off your high horse. And I think all your friends are stupid, and I think your collaborations are lame, and I don't think you're popular, and I don't think you're famous, and I don't think your music is any good. Have a nice day. I mean, I'm not trying to be a douche. I don't. I just don't. Anyways, whatever.